Hello everyone, welcome to Crash Code. So today we're going to be learning about quadratic probing and hash tables. And if you've been following up with the videos, I use the same question for linear probing and hash tables. And so we're basically inserting the same numbers using the same function, just that we're changing it to like quadratic probing. So first things first, we are going to draw our array of seven values okay so we're gonna name this uh, you know just keep their memory addresses here perfect so the first one we're going to insert 10 well, using the fun function, we have uh, k mod 7. k mod 7 is 10 mod 7. And that's 3. So we're going to insert 10 at position 3. For the next one, we have 13. 13 mod 7 is 6 and we're going to keep 13 at position 6 for the next one we're going to have 11 and 11 mod 7 is 4 and so we're keeping 11 here for the next one we have 3 mod 7 which is 3 so we're keeping uh oh so we're supposed to keep um, 3 at this position here right but this position is already occupied by 10 and so this is where quadratic probing or the idea of quadratic probing comes in and we're going to use functions uh, like this they go like this so where this value n goes from 1 to you know for as long as you need it but but we usually don't really need maybe like up to like 4 maybe that's what we need anyways so we're going to try to solve or resolve this collision here so we're going to use the first formula x plus 1 square and that would be x is 3 plus 1 square that's 4 4 mod 7 is 4 but 4 is already filled up so we definitely can't use this one here so we're going to move to the next one and now we have 3 plus 4 and that's 7 but we don't have a 7 uh, location 7 in this array I mean our array is of table size 7 but we don't have a location of 7 here so we're going to say this is where the mod is very useful so it's going to be 7 mod 7 which is 0 right that means we're to insert 3 at position 0. So yeah, we resolve the first collision. And for the next one, we're going to say 8 mod 7. And that's 1. So we keep 8 at position 1. Next one. We have 5. Itty pitty, we keep five here. And for the last one, we have 14, and that's zero. But position zero is already occupied, and so we're going to use the first formula. And as I said before, it goes for as long as you could use this, it continues to go from one to any number you want. 
And so we're going to use the first one. X is 14. And that's 15. So we're going to say 15 mod 7 because we have um what do you call it here? Yeah, so we're going to say 15 mod 7 is 1 position 1 but it's already filled up so we're going to use the second formula and that's going to be 18 so 18 mod 7 is 4 um, I'm using this sign like often but it's actually meaning mod not division it's mod and so 18 mod 7 is 4 but when we come to the table here 4 is already filled up and so we're going to do it again 14 plus 3 square and that's going to give us 23 23 mod 7 is 2 position 2 and when we come here position 2 is empty and so 14 comes here and at the end of the day we're going to have this array here and this is our final answer after doing all this and that's the end of the video for today and there will be more videos on you can watch the last video on linear probing or the next video which is going to be on separate chaining